So I'm going to walk you through the water system a little bit after we made some changes. Um, you can see the diagram here that shows the alignment for these valves. Um, to fill the primary water tank, which is behind this panel here, um, you're going to set it to the power fill tank setting. So I'm just going to line the valves up like the little diagram. Turn the water on and that will fill your primary tank. Okay, your auxiliary water tank is here. We have a three-way valve installed here, which come, this blue line is the overflow from the primary tank. So when the valve handle is in this position, when your primary tank gets full, you're gonna see water come out right here. Now to keep filling and direct the water to the auxiliary tank, over here I've got a note written here with the little arrow down if you align the valve in this direction it's going to overflow from your primary tank and start going into your auxiliary tank and then once that gets full you will see overflow out of this tube here okay so we've got overflow out of the main tank so that means that the main tank is full so we will flip the valve, and it will divert that water into the auxiliary water tank. Alright, while we're waiting on the tank to fill, I thought I would show you a little bit about what we changed on the battery system. Um, originally you had two batteries right here, 150 amp hours each. We took those out, put uh, two 320 amp hour uh, lithionics in here. This is one in the original location. And then what we did was made this little storage compartment a little bit shallower. And the other battery is directly behind this, underneath this one. Um, when we did that, we had to locate these switches out just a little bit. This is a light switch here. Um, this is a USB power port. And then you have a, a uh, solar panel connection if you want to add some extra solar while you're uh, boondocking or whatever. Um, this disconnect here disconnects your batteries from your inverter. So uh, anytime you're going to use your inverter you're going to want that to be on. Um, when you get ready to put it up for storage you just flip it off to keep any kind of slow drains um, off the batteries. Uh, this is a breaker for the batteries. Um, you shouldn't have to, to manipulate that at all. Um, if for some reason it trips, that's the location of it. Uh, down is on. Uh, the space that, I, that we had to work with, um, I had to actually mount it upside down. So, um, But it, it actually says on and off on there. So there's off is up and on is down. And then this was the switch. Um, for the battery heaters for the original batteries these batteries have internal heaters and it's all automatic so you don't have this switch anymore um, and then you do have some breakers here for various things uh, solar controller um, circuit breaker panel and then battery mode switch um, which unless they trip you shouldn't have to mess with that at all and then there's your inverter over there okay we have overflow out of the auxiliary tank. I mean, both tanks are now full. Um, we turn the water off. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do. I'm going to drain the primary tank with this drain valve here um, and then I'll come back and show you how to fill the primary tank from the auxiliary tank. So that's the drain for the uh, primary water tank. Okay, inside if we hit tank level you can see the fresh water tank is now showing empty. So. We will close our drain valve. And 
and go to the rear and then I'll show you how to refill the main tank using the water in the auxiliary tank. Okay, so we still have the valves lined up for the uh, power fill tank setting right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to attach this hose to the outlet on the auxiliary tank and we're going to switch it over to the sanitize line up where and it says right here siphon to tank via pump so it's just one valve to flip there and here's the outlet on the tank now this will also double as a drain when you're if you are putting it up for winter or whatever and you need to get the water out of the auxiliary tank you can just un unscrew the cap here, and open the valve, it'll drain the auxiliary tank. Um, so we've got this little, this six foot water hose here, um, that, and it'll be in your van uh, when you receive it. Um, it's the perfect length to hook up here. Remove the little dust cap. that hose and then open this valve um, so now the other end of that hose is still attached here to your uh, water distribution panel um, the next step is just going to be to simply turn on the water pump which you do have a switch back here it says pump right here when the pumps on this red light will come on you can hear it pumping in there. You should be able to feel some pressure here. I feel water flowing through. Um, so we'll give that a few minutes to refill the main tank. So this is just a, a minute or so later. You can already see that the tank level has gone from E up to one third. So we are filling. Okay, it's been about five minutes and now showing two thirds of a tank. I'm not sure if you can see the water level in the auxiliary tank. Um, maybe. Yeah, I kind of see it right there. So it's a little less than half already. Um, one thing to keep in mind, your water tank, your primary water tank is 21 gallons. Your auxiliary water tank is 21 gallons. Your gray tank is also 21 gallons. So, um, filling the primary tank from the auxiliary tank, you might not get overflow like if you're filling from a hose. Um, so you, you definitely don't want to leave it um, uh, and let your pump run dry. You want to kind of monitor, um, you know, your tank levels and make sure you, you stop it and turn it off um, whenever your primary tank gets full. Um, also, if you use all the water out of your primary tank and it's time to fill the primary tank from the auxiliary tank, chances are that your gray tank is also full and probably needs to be dumped. So, um, you know, if you don't dump your gray tank, which is 21 gallons, uh, before you refill your primary tank, uh, there's there's a good chance that you're going to overflow your gray tank. Um, so, you know, when you get ready to fill your refill your primary tank from your aux tank, it's probably a good time to do it while you're dumping your gray tank. That way, everything's uh, empty, um, so that all that the water from the drains have, has a place to go. Okay, uh, it's it's been a few minutes later, and you can now see that the fresh water tank is reading full. Um, so I can actually turn the water pump off from here and we will go disconnect and I'll show you how to line it back up for dry camping. Okay. So 
the dry camping setting is this and they, all that means is you're going to be using water uh, out of your primary tank to your fixtures so we will line that up according to the picture now and you see that uh, I've turned the pump off inside so the red lights out the pumps off I don't hear it running anymore um, now down here we still have a little bit of water uh, in the auxiliary tank I didn't wait for it to completely drain um, but what we will do is disconnect this side first turn the valve off unscrew the hose the little dust cap back on so by disconnecting that side of the hose that makes it a lot uh, a lot cleaner when you go to disconnect from in here um, it's a good idea to have some towels uh, underneath because you'll you'll usually get a drip or two when you disconnect this just give it a little turn I can hear air so it, it's draining out of the, the hose. There we go. A couple drips there you see. Um, that's what I was referring to when I was saying to uh, have a towel handy. Uh, so then this hose, what we'll do, we'll coil it back up connect the ends so that any water in the hose isn't going to leak out in the van and our little storage compartment right here is the perfect place to put it now um, to use the water let me get let me adjust my camera up just a little all right to use the water I'll show you just using the, the outside shower hose here um, we've got it lined up to dry camping. We're just going to turn the water pump back on. You'll hear the pump run, press up the lines, and it should stop once it gets to pressure. Um, and then this is just a little quick disconnect. Just pops in just like that. And we can turn the faucet on. Squeeze the handle, you hear a little water, uh, a little air come out, and then you get water. So this is water straight out of your primary tank. Everything's working like it should. Alright, and since we're going to ship it to you, I'm going to go ahead and drain any water in there just for weight reasons. Uh, going on the transport truck or whatever. I mentioned that this uh, valve down here is also the drain for the auxiliary tank. Um, Real simple, just unscrew the, tap, the cap there, open the valve, and that will drain out. And then we're also going to go ahead and drain the primary tank, um, like, like before. Just open that valve, and it's going to run out on the ground. And we're also going to remember to turn the water pump back off. That's it.